Hello guys, it is Tom with the SS Motion back here with another Call of Duty review for you guys. So today we're taking a look at another Summer 2014 set. It is the Call of Duty Collector's Construction Sets APC Invasion. This is set number 06856. It's for ages 12 and up. It includes 457 pieces and it retails at approximately £29.99 here in the UK. Okay, so straight off the bat, before we get into the review, I do actually have something to say about the name of the set for once. Now, the choice here of APC Invasion is very interesting, as the actual vehicle included is not an APC, which is an armoured personnel carrier, but is in fact a scout car type vehicle from the Vietnam-esque era. So, this isn't exactly a modern set, but it is still a very nice set. And to be honest, it doesn't look too bad displayed with modern stuff, so that's something which is really cool about it. So before we take a look at the vehicle itself and all its glory, I first want to give you guys a look at the figures. So we get two in this set, one named figure, Hudson, and one normal figure. We'll take a look at the normal figure first. Here he is. Put my hand there so it focuses for you guys. You can see nice black combat trousers, the brand new RPG piece, which I talk about in more detail in our review of the claw, a silver concussion grenade, a World War II design backpack used in this set, which is very nice, it's nice to get more variation in the backpacks, an entrenching tool, which is the World War II variant, so it can actually fit on the rucksack, which is really cool, a ammunition pouch, and then the head sculpt. This is quite a common head sculpt now, but it's still nice. And one thing to note about this figure is my figure did have a slight defect, but something which is quite cool at the same time. You'll notice he is missing a second tab. That has kind of boiled over and is not there. But it still looks rather cool, and I, I don't want to request a replacement, because I think it looks like battle damage, which is pretty cool. Um, so that was an interesting defect. It's not something which I've seen before, but it's... Not really something which affects the overall quality of the figure. So moving on, we now have Agent Hudson, who is a CIA agent from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. As seen here. In the instructions, it does tell you to put this pistol holster piece on this side, but I prefer it on his trigger hand side. Get some nice black painted boots. A nice grey ammo pouch and a black concussion grenade turn into the back we get a backpack with the World War II style canteen which is different than the modern style silver knife and the World War II style flashlight again a brand new backpack piece as you can tell and looking at Hudson's head sculpt we can see a very nice head sculpt he looks really cool especially the sunglasses they really look awesome and he even has a little bit of scarring which appears in the game which is very nice let's take a look at his accessory we get a really cool weapon this is only seen in two sets so far possibly three and that is the Colt Python and this is painted black and silver and it looks really, really nice, and is a nice tribute to his character in game, as I'm fairly certain that he uses the Python at one point or another. So we get two really cool figures in this set, and I'm glad to get another member of the Special Operations group from the Black Ops games. I'm hoping we'll see Bowman at some point to wrap them up, but who knows. But without further ado, moving on, we will take a look at the APC, or Scout Car, itself. Giving you a view from the front. You can see lots of nice detailing, lights, mirrors, which if I twist them around quickly, actually have painted insides, which is very nice. Great details, various bits of texture added, sloping, turning to the side. You can see more detail added, more sloping effect and grates. More angled grates and even fuel cans, which look very nice. And one interesting thing to note is that these wheels are identical to the wheels used in the Humvee. They are just cast in a green colour as opposed to a tan colour. Moving to the back, we can see a lot more nice detailing again. Some brake lights and other details which really add texture to the model. And again, turning this way, we can see yet more nice 
uh, work on the model and it just generally looks very very nice and very very accurate to uh, a scout car type design looking at the top of the turret we can see great detailing and then two very nice printed control consoles as well as space for two figures the turret itself rotates it cannot rotate a full 360 but does do a fairly nice half 360 the turret itself if we give you another view from the front quickly can be elevated up to this point and pointed downwards down to this point although it generally looks nicer about a middle balance here we also have in the center here if we twist this an opening cockpit give you a look inside there with a chair and foot space for one figure and then on the sides we have these opening racks which clip into place and hold two more RPG missiles per side which are very nice and there's a little bit of space in there for storage I've just popped one of the gas canisters off at the back if we pop it back in quickly I'll actually show you the way you fit them in because that's very nice there's a little clip in the work here and you just, it's quite fiddly but there we go, got it it clips in at an angle which looks very nice there's one either side and then this one here we open up, we have our last accessory, which is a pair of brown binoculars. I decided to store in there. Two more RPG missiles. And then really nice rubber tyres, which have a lot of nice texture work on them. And just look very, very nice. Now the Scout car is quite a nice model. If we compare it to, say for example, the Humvee, we can see it's about the same size, a little smaller in height but about the same width and it is just generally a really really cool model I really really like it it looks awesome it has a lot of playability to it and it is just generally a really really nice set to have in lure of the tank here as if you didn't manage to buy the tank or if you can't afford it and you're looking for a cheap alternative this scout car still offers you some mobile armor for your Call of Duty collection whilst not weighing in as as expensive as the tank does so I would definitely recommend this set, I have to admit it's one of my favourite sets of the summer wave so far, I really really like it. And I would say if you see it, buy it. I mean I'm considering picking up a second one at some point because I think a pair of these would look really good in a display. And as well as that you get some nice components for the figures. And it is just generally a set which is really really nice and which is a satisfying build and feels great when you've finished it. So this has been a look at the APC Invasion Call of Duty Mega Block set. It's a really, really cool set. Pro probably one of my favourite sets we've got so far. And I look forward to seeing more sets like this in the future. I mean, when we look at the Special Operations Group sets, I'm particularly hoping that we see the Bell Huey helicopter from the Vietnam era, as that would be very nice, as well as maybe a Woolies Jeep and some other Vietnam era vehicles. So with that said, this is it for another Call of Duty review here on the SS Motion. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Feel, please feel free to comment your opinions on the set below. And as always, please like, favourite and subscribe. This has been Tom with the SS Motion. Hope you guys have a great week.